Hi, this is Tom Miro with World Class Coaching and another in our series of animated drills. Today I want to talk about an activity from the Dutch Pro Academy Training Sessions by Dan Brown. He's got a two-volume uh, book that we have that's up on coachingsoccerweekly.com. You can get that from the training center. And this activity is a Dutch diamond finishing activity that he took from a training session that he observed from PSV's U16 team. And the organization of the players is in a diamond here with the extra players with a ball each starting near the halfway line. Now you could do this relative to the size of the field that your players are playing on. So if it's a U10 team, it would obviously be a smaller diamond than it would be if it's a U15, U16 team in this case. And so player one starts with the ball here at the top of the diamond and then makes a pass into player two. Player two then makes a, pla a pass into player three. Now it's important to, to understand that as that pass is being made, player three is checking away to then check back and receive the ball. After they check back and receive the ball, the idea is for that player to then turn. And we'll just show a turning motion here with a flat line. So we want this player to turn and then have a shot. So they're gonna come in then, we'll get our shooting line back, and then they're gonna take a shot on goal. And we'll take that line out, and we'll add a shooting line. <laughs> Just I gotta change back to the shooting line here. So they'll take a shot on goal, and the goalie will attempt to save that. Player three grabs the ball, goes to the end of the line. Player one goes to player two spot. Two goes in where three was. And now the same pattern is completed on the opposite side, with the player then passing out here to player what we'd call player four, and that player would play into player three who would turn and have a shot. So now you're repeating it from both sides. It's the same basic idea, you know, where each player really is checking out, checking in to receive the ball, checking out, checking in to receive the ball, and then turning and having a shot on goal. So that's the simplest pattern you can do with this. I'm sure you can imagine you know, hundreds of different patterns uh, that you might be able to use from this. And anybody that's done diamond passing before has seen these kind of activities. The, the unique thing here is now we're putting these diamond activities in front of goal. I shouldn't say unique because maybe you've tried it in the past. I've, I've done this in the past. I liked the idea of a couple of different patterns that they had here. Uh, one in particular, I'll just go through as a progression here. Obviously, the next progression you would make is you would pass into player two, who would then play the ball back into player one. As they play that ball back into player one, player three is checked away. And now the ball is passed in to player three, but we have player two, and I'll just get a solid line here, for player two to make that run into the space in order to receive a ball laid off by player three into their pass path so that then they can take a shot. So again, a simple up, back, and through, followed by a give and go there. So if we then take these away, and another pattern, the one that kind of intrigued me the most, is a pattern where we get both players involved. And, and obviously a progression to this one that I just described would be for the ball to then be played into player four instead. So it goes up, back, and through, but then player four makes the run in order to have a shot. So that would be a slightly different progression to this. Now the next one would be where we get everybody involved here the whole time. We've got a pass made from player one out to player two. Then we have player one move up into the space in order to receive, you know, kind of supporting their pass, receive a ball back. As they move up into this space, now we, now we get runs from each of the wide players. So we'll get a run from this player. Can we flip that over? That doesn't do as well on this side. So we'll grab kind of the free form tool here. I can grab this. And this player will make a run in behind that player. This player will also make a run. So player, what we have been calling player four, would make a run in behind this player. So then when player one receives the ball back after their movement into the middle, they pass it into three. And three has the option to pass either to one side or the other. So when they pass the ball either to this side or they can lay the ball off to the other side. So let's say they play this side. Now this player is looking to have a shot on goal. But then importantly, the other player is looking to follow and get any rebounds. 
So this is a very game-like situation where we've got one player not knowing who's going to receive the ball. One player receives it and shoots. The other player stays involved as an active you know, player following in order to finish any shots that are either missed off a post perhaps or maybe deflected by the goalkeeper, and we can finish there. Then we'd have both players come back. The player who got to take the shot would move into that third spot the player in that third spot would get a ball in return. But then importantly, the player that didn't get to shoot would return back here and we'd repeat this pattern from the other side so that players on both sides get a chance and a player never leaves the activity until they've had a chance to shoot. So that keeps it flowing and keeps everybody you know, getting an opportunity to take a shot. So this is a very fast-paced, game-realistic kind of situation where players are passing and moving, making supporting runs for each other, making decisions, which is important. So we've got player three deciding which way to pass. Maybe that decision is dictated by where they receive the ball from player one. If it's slightly more to this side, slightly more to that side, if they want to chop it across their body and play it. But then we've got a player who doesn't know, again, whether they're going to receive it or not, still being actively involved and not just switching off after they don't receive it. So that's a pattern that I like. If you want to check out more patterns like this or other uh, information from the Dutch Pro Academy training sessions, check out Dan Brown's book in the World Class Coaching Training Center.